Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here. And today, apparently, I have something um, extra, extra, extra special to share with you guys. So this was sent to me by Scott. And if you've been watching for all, you know that Scott doesn't send anything unless it's epic. And when I say epic, I mean way beyond, way over the top. But this time, Scott sent me an email saying, listen, this is the craziest thing. This is absolutely the craziest thing that I have ever sent you. Nobody in the world has seen it except for me and uh, the final maker. So he said, it's right up my alley. So I am extremely intrigued by this. <laughs> I have no idea what it could be. It's a fairly heavy box, so I don't know. He said, wear gloves and have fun, so that's what I'm going to do. Thanks to Scott, or uh, it'd be Sierra underscore bound on Instagram, which I actually have his little tag right here, um, but it's stuck to the vinyl upholstery. There we go. Sierra underscore bound on Instagram. Uh, follow him. It's worth following him just to check out his collection because it's pretty insane. Thanks to my patrons for supporting me, and please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. All right, enough. Enough with your intro. My God. I know. I know. Let's find out what's in here. Um, <laughs> professional, professionally taped and packaged up. Okay. We, uh, we have a couple. We have a few things. What's going on here? Okay. Are they numbered? Okay. Open second. Open third. Open first. Open fourth. Open first. Okay, so the first thing I need to open... <laughs> We're going on an adventure here. Hold on. Uh, open first is this right here. All right. Let's take a look. Let's see what this note says. Always appreciate notes. Um, what kind of... There we go. All right. Buckle up. Put on your gloves. Okay. All right, let's put the gloves on. So... I'm so intrigued. He made it sound like it was one knife. What's happening here? Is this a, uh, it's like a theme or are they three completely different knives? I have no idea. By the way, it's not likely that any of this stuff is actually available to where you can just go purchase it. But if it is, it'll all be linked down in the description. So make sure and check that out. Um, oh wait. Yeah. Okay. Second. So second would come next, right? Second, two comes after one. All right. Let's move this just so we can... <laughs> read after <laughs> so so good with the instructions okay <laughs> oh my god <laughs> what on earth do we have starburst starburst textured zerka zerkatai oh my god look at that that is wild two-tone slicer these two-tone XMs are very rare. You, you really don't see them often. Is this a skinny? Has to be a skinny slicer. Absolutely epic. Very wonderful. Um, this, is, this is really cool. I want to keep things moving here, but I do want to read this note. Um, all right. Let's see here. XM18 3.5-inch Kenobi Tie Ultimate Hinder Scale made by Ad Berry Knives, who is somebody I'm familiar with and does very good work. You guys should definitely check him out. Uh, from at Nichols Damascus, Kenobi Thai, that's Thai laminate of 6AL4V and commercially pure Thai. We've talked about that stuff before. Pretty cool. Clip made by at Johnny underscore T underscore Knives from at Nichols Damascus, Kenobi Thai. Same thing. Um, polishing, final, so, so this is not Zerka Thai. It's just two different compositions of titanium, commercially pure and 6AL4V, which is your US grade five. Uh, that's what you usually get, like standard titanium on hinder knives. Uh, other notes, saying this because I don't think you've experienced Chad Nichols Kenobi Tie, my favorite material. I have not. This is the first time that I have ever seen it before. It's really, really cool. And the texturing is beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Okay, stunner number one. Let's take a look here at uh, this one. It's the, the one that says to open third. Bless it, these gloves. Can't even take the note off of it. Okay. So the next one here says also says read after. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? We got another hinder. Jeez! <laughs> oh my god. Scott, what is what is wrong with you? <laughs> oh my gosh. 
Why are you trying to... <laughs> God. Ah, this it, man. I want this finish on, like, all of my hinderers. That is so gorgeous. Scale material. This looks like... Oh, I don't even want to guess. It looks like Met and Boss, I think. This looks like no anno or just like a earthy anno Zerka tie, but I'm not really sure. Beautiful, though. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I could be wrong about that um, stuff there. And then I'm going to get, I'm just taking a guess here. I'm going to guess that this is ni a Knife Modders polish. Uh yeah, Richie and Lindy. That's 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 my guess. Hold on. <laughs> Cursed gloves. Minus ten grip. <laughs> Minus ten gripitude. Um, scale made by Madden Boss. Got that one right. I ah, I got everything right. I just didn't guess uh, the uh, the the pocket clip, which I I should have known because I believe it's the exact same shape as the one on the other one there. So very cool. Okay. Scale made by Madden Boss uh, from Black Time. I have uh, some Spyderco st scales made by Madden Boss and uh, very good stuff. And then the um, mono refinish. So with the scales were originally something else and then the mono refinish was done by Knife Modders. Interesting. Okay. Johnny T. Knives for uh, the Black Time Mascus uh, clip and then polishing and final assembly by Knife Modders. Blade and frame finish polished stone washed hazy wash. Could not go full polish due to uh, blade inclusion. I actually like this more than a full mirror polish, and I'll tell you why. I would imagine that this is the type of polish, because they still have marks and nicks and things on it, which is like a really high polish underneath. This type of polish will still look good even after you've used it a bit, because a lot of those wear marks will blend in um, to uh, the little, you know, what they call the haze on the on the blade. I think it's actually a really, really nice finish. And that's, I honestly, I think I would opt for that over, I, I would imagine it would be less expensive too, but I would opt for that over, um, you know, a full mirror. Uh, and then finally, we have this one here. Is it safe to assume it's gonna be a hinderer? I, I feel like at this point, get off! At this point, it's, uh, <laughs> that note was like, please, be my friend. Um, at this point, it's safe to assume that it's another hinderer. I mean, it. You got a non. You got a non flipper uh, in here. Has to be. Okay, we got another read after note. What do we got? Oh my god. Oh, dude. Oh my gosh. God, this is ridiculous. Oh my gosh. What am I holding? What sort of sunken ship treasure is this? This is this is absurd. Oh my gosh. Okay. Not to do not to take away from these two, but I just really would like to be oh, that is just stunning. Look how this was done. Um Hmm, I have a guess on who did this. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at that. Look how they've highlighted, hinder, the little detail work underneath. And I'm going to give you guys some major close-ups here. If you if you don't have it cranked to 4K, get it get it in 4K. Um, the I think the most impressive thing is how they've outlined everything and left a very specific space right at the edge to highlight everything. You can see it here. This is ridiculous. I, I'm 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 struggling to actually like you know come up with something to say while I'm showing this because I, I desperately just want to sit in silence and then look at it. And I'm sure a lot of you are thinking, yeah, that'd be really great if you would shut your stupid face and just let everybody look at it. Just turn the volume down. Just turn. I don't. I won't blame you. Um, but how the edges, like the space between the um, the, uh, the all the artwork. And the edge is outlined by that. That is so beautiful. I'm trying to keep that reflectivity there so we can appreciate the polish. Same with the pocket clip. And then what I think is, is one of the coolest areas is back here. Look at that. That is just excellent. Oh, my goodness. This is... Um, I haven't even got the blade out. Well, of course. 
Of course, that's what it looks like. Of course, that's what it looks like. <laughs> why? Why not? Why? Why? Why wouldn't it look like that? Of course. Hold on. We gotta get. Uh, we gotta get all the fingerprinties off of it. Oh man. <laughs> that is just gorgeous. Oh boy, look at that. The, I think the contrast between the. Uh, you know, all of the artwork here and the fact that the mirror polish on the hardware is present and just the contrast of like all the business here and then the complete and total just like pure clean mirror polish. But and of course, of course, it's a non flipper fullard spear, which is, in my opinion, the greatest. This is the greatest hinderer profile ever. Um, Scott, so the last best hinderer I'd ever handled was sent by you. This is unequivocally the new best hinder this is the craziest hinderer that i've ever seen um i have ne i've never seen anything like this this is this is a rare situation where i'm handling something that's not just the craziest thing in one category right it's not just the craziest hinder this is absolutely one of the craziest knives that i've ever handled wow that is really spectacular. Um, we've got three insanely, look how different too, like the full mirror. That's, I'm, I'm guessing that's still Richie and Lindy. I'm almost certain that I, that's still them. Let's just space those out there and let's read real quick. This video is already, we're already about 12 minutes on an unboxing, which is much longer than I usually go. Scale, hinder full depth, smooth scale, from from metal complex fully engraved but why does it say from hinderer full depth smooth oh oh full depth that's that's the one that i sold you <laughs> oh my gosh that's what you've been doing with this that's amazing that's the scale so a while back see it has no milling on the inside <laughs> a while back he was like can i buy that from you and i was like he said do you have a full like a smooth one and I was like yeah and uh I was like yeah you know what? I think I could let that go it was the scale that was originally on my old um workhorse XM and um so he said fully engraved by Bruce Shaw okay there you go that's who engraved it um the clip was Johnny T uh fully engraved by Bruce Shaw and then polishing and final assembly again at knife modders Yes, MC, you must return this. Wipe off tears of joy, play. I'll try. Yeah, there's gonna, I mean, like tears of joy and just like facial fluids in general. Sorry about that. Engraving uh, facilitated by one of the most amazing knife community members out there who shall remain nameless so he doesn't get endless requests. I can completely understand that because that happens and people don't consider, you know. Anyways, this was absolutely insane. Um, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm really pumped that, um, you know, Scott sends me this stuff. So not only so I can share it with you, but so I can sit here and enjoy it for myself, uh, off camera. What I do is exactly what anyone would do. I sit here in silence and just look over it and flip it and look over it and flip. It's just, it's just like the, naturally what you do with this stuff at, right after you unbox it. Right. Um, <laughs> Uh, that one really left me speechless. That uh, that was absolutely crazy. Well, this has been fun. This one will get its own video for sure. I might include these two in the video um, just to kind of showcase a lot since we have a lot of the same people working on this stuff. Um, but yeah, I'll absolutely do another video. This is really awesome. Thank you so much, Scott, uh, for sending these in for me to take a look at. I think that's going to be pretty much it today. I uh, I always lose that card. Here it is. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.